All right, so as promised, I want to explain to you all how important it is to shift your income from ordinary income to extraordinary income. For those of you who are struggling with the thought of starting your business or you have started your business and you struggle with um, putting money into your business, or those of you thinking about real estate, those of you who are freelancers who are struggling with the thought of turning your freelance activities into full-time activities, I just wanted to give you a real live example. Now, this is my uh, TurboTax file from my last W-2 employer. Um, I wanted to show you so that you can get a real life example of how things work. I'm a visual teacher um, in the Tax Strategies Mastermind. We each have our own files so that we can um, plan our tax liability in real time. Okay, so I've sanitized the file because we don't need to know my personal address and social security number and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead over to the personal income, okay, and I'm going to choose what I want to work on. And we're going to go right over into our W-2, okay? This is what you get at the end of um, January for the prior year. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sanitized uh, the actual um, information, okay, and switched up some numbers. But the actual W-2 information is real. And so I want to show you here, this is your the wages for the year. Okay, many of you have the wages for the year. This is not out of touch for a lot of people. And this is the actual federal tax withheld for the year. Okay, that's $19,308. And as you can see here, the federal refund is $19,308. All right, that means the activities that we're engaged in told Uncle Sam, hey, all the money that you withheld is due back to me, okay? And when you are planning and strategizing on a federal level, a lot of times your state uh, return reflects the benefits as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead over into the business section, okay? And I'm gonna hit continue. I'll choose what I wanna work on. And you can see here, I recorded a business loss of negative 13,000 in 2020. Okay, a lot of people when they're first starting out in their business, they have a loss because they've got to put money towards administrative items like trademarking, websites, um, uh, web development, uh, let's see, advertising, right? And a lot of times people, they don't want to actually spend the money. So here's the deal. I want to stress that 19308 was already withheld from the paycheck. Okay, so it was in Uncle Sam's hands. I had to tell Uncle Sam, hey, this is actually my money. Okay. And in order to tell Uncle Sam that that was my money, I had to spend the money. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove, say, rental properties and royalties so that you can see the difference in the actual refund. If you, for those of you who don't know, white means you're due the money back. If it's in the red, that means you owe money. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update. Okay. I'm going to hit yes to go into my rental properties. And for those of you who are uh, in the mastermind or you know about real estate professional status, and I talk about it a lot to offset all other income, I'm going to just uncheck it so that you can see what happens when you're not a real estate professional. Okay. Now you can see all of that money goes down, right? So that means now I'm not getting back all of my money that Uncle Sam withheld from my paycheck, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the rental property information. Okay. Now I've told Uncle Sam, I don't have any properties. So I went from having properties and not being a real estate professional status to not having any properties, right? So now you can see my federal refund goes down to 2720. That means Uncle Sam has withheld 19,308, remember, right? And I'm getting back 2720. Okay. So that means they get to keep roughly 17, uh, 16, almost 17,000. So I'm going to go back into business. Okay. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to choose what I want to work on. So that is with me pumping money just into business activities. Now I'm going to go ahead and update it and I'm going to go ahead and delete my business. All right. I didn't, uh, spend any money because I was just too afraid. I'm going to hit yes. All right. I don't have any business activities. So now not only did Uncle Sam withhold, let's go back in personal, personal income. Okay. Not only did Uncle Sam withhold $19,308, but now they're telling me, hey, you owe an additional $618. And I owe, as a result, my state, in this case, New York, an additional $792. 
right? So that's why it's important to spend the money in business activities because now Uncle Sam not only gets to keep what, the, what was withheld during the year, but now I would be um, beholden to pay them an additional 618. So that's almost uh, $20,000 I would have to pay Uncle Sam, okay? So for those of you who have savings or you feel like, I don't, I don't wanna spend the money, I have to budget and things of that nature, just remember Uncle Sam already has it every pay period in your check. So you have to make the decision to spend the money, whether you put it on a credit card and pay it down, pay, um, you know, towards it during the year and earn your money back. Um, or you let Uncle Sam keep the money. Either way, the money is out of your hands. So it's best to either give it to uh, your business activities or let Uncle Sam keep it. So just so you guys understand. And so I'm going to go in here. Right. I'll choose what I want to work on and I'm going to go ahead and go into business. Right. Um, I'm just going to say I use my own name for my business. You put your business description. I'm going to continue. I'll just hit continue. That's just administrative stuff. All right. I didn't have any employees. Maybe you have an EIN number. Maybe you don't. Don't worry about that. I'm just going to show you what happens when you actually input your expenses. Okay. Just so you have an actual idea. All right. And I teach all of this in the mastermind. Don't worry. You're not alone. OK, so I'm going to hit continue. OK, right. And I'm going to go into income. Now, let's just say you started because you can't take any expenses until you make your first dollar. All right. And I'm just going to say general income. Now, if you sell T-shirts, you would put T-shirt sales or whatever it is, digital sales. I'm just uh, illustrating. And let's say uh, maybe you have some ebooks out and you sold maybe a thousand dollars. Usually first year is, um, you know, really slow. You're just getting started. You have more expenses than not. OK. And hit continue because you've entered all of your income. OK. Now let's go into business expenses. OK. I'm just going to go into other common expenses. And I want to encourage my uh, business owners, please start advertising. Maybe you have some Facebook ads. OK. And maybe you spend, you know, 500 a month or whatever have you. Let's just say throughout the year, you pumped a lot of money into your business. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, I don't have that kind of money. I don't want to spend that kind of money. I don't want to take it out of my savings. But the reality is, again, in this example, Uncle Sam already has the withholdings of um, almost 20000 So you want to earn it back either way. Either way, you can't have it. I want to stress that you can't have it either way. So you might as well put it in your business, right? You want to put in your uh, your phone, if you use your phone, um, if you pay any insurance, any legal professional fees. Maybe you had a lawyer, right? Do your trademarking, okay? And maybe you pay them 1500 Again, these numbers, they sound high, uh, particularly when you are working and you are budgeting. But again, I'm going to keep repeating Uncle Sam in this example has already taken the money out of the check, right? He's already taken the money out of your check. Okay. So you want to pump the money definitely into your business. All right. So maybe you hired somebody to do your web design. Okay. And maybe a logo. Okay. And maybe you paid, I don't know, let's say $1,000 for your web design. And maybe you paid 500. I'm just throwing numbers out there so that you can see these numbers, right? So now what you're telling Uncle Sam is, hey, you withheld that money, right? In this case, $19,000. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm due 1300 back, okay? I'm due this money back. Give me back some of the money, right? And so I'd even encourage you to go ahead, get your business bank account and, and, and dump it into ads if you can, right? You see how the more you pump the money into the business, the more you earn back the money that was withheld. The goal is to keep pulling that money from your, your W-2 that was withheld. Okay, maybe you, you use part of your phone line. And let's say your, your cell phone bill is, 12, is $100 a month. Okay, maybe you have a dedicated cell phone or phone line. Okay, just to give you uh, some, some examples. All right, so just so you get the gist, um, you know, you don't have to get complex, but I want to encourage my business owners, uh, my real estate investors, go ahead and spend the money because it's already out of your bank account. It's already out of your check. It doesn't even get to your hands. So you might as well 
I'll spend the money and earn it back. So, you know, in this example, I'm telling Uncle Sam, hey, you've withheld 19000 and change. I'm due back 2500 of that 19000 Okay. So these are things that you, you actually uh, want to focus on. All right. So I teach you how to do this in the Tax Strategies Mastermind. It is tax deductible. It is increasing um, January 1. I will include the Corporate Transparency Act and how to fill out the form uh, at FinCEN.gov. I have added trust and asset protection. I've added multiple strategies and we keep a file of your current tax liability. We keep our books and records together and we enter it in and we discuss uh, your numbers and your strategy. I also review your files. So just wanted to give you an example of how you might as well just start your business. Okay, because again, Uncle Sam has the money anyway. I'd rather dump it into uh, my business and real estate than let Uncle Sam keep the withholdings.